Irimed Kuzez is my name. I come from Rwanda in Eastern Province, Bugesera District, particularly in the Gashora sector. I'm now in Uganda, Pigi Town. My name is Duchin Hego Donat Dolar. I am Rwandan. I came from Kigali, Rwanda. My experience in this place, it is not just one thing or two or three. I have got a lot of experiences. And the thing that I've liked in this place, it is the place where everyone from anywhere, from any culture, from any place, from any perspectives, you come here and you feel home, you feel welcome. Another thing I liked here, it is the only place you can get and feel what the real meaning of love. Sina, really, it was a good place, full of energy, full of many things, which is very good. Uh, Sina, Social Innovation Academy, it is free as possible and safe, organized, empowering disadvantaged youth to become social innovation and war change maker. For me, every session here in Applied was counting for me. And the, my biggest takeaways in Applied, I can count. There are many, but let me highlight several ones. Uh, I can go with sessions like NVC. This is a session which I liked so much. It is an environment communication where we had to learn how to, to, like, to elaborate the things. Like we have the components of NVC. In NVC, when you are applying non-violent communication, we consider observation. Like when you're saying something, you have to something that you witness, that you really, you really have information about. Another thing I've learned, a chain reaction. The chain reaction, I have learned that we are having problems but we don't know that the solutions are nearby us. I remember in this session, in chain reaction, we were asked to, to make a chain reaction of 10 chain, chains, which we were used to bootstrap. We, we were asked to use the available resources to make that. And for sure, in the beginning, I was like, hey, this is impossible. But with time, with working on it, with teamwork, we, we managed to do that. And from that chain reaction, I learned that the solutions are in surroundings. When we take time, when we, we, we team up with people, we can get the solutions. And the, another session which was standing out for me is uh, seven habits of highly effective people. For sure, this concept, it is the concept that can completely transform someone. Through those habits, I can about like uh, want to be proactive. In this part of Habits of seven habits of highly effective people being proactive. Here you understand that you yourself, you are the one who has a control to yourself, not to anyone else. When you understand this, it helps you to control your emotions, your feelings, towards, instead of thinking how people can change. Because you can't change them, but for you, you can change yourself. Another one, it, it, it teaches about prioritization. Yes, putting things first, first, like, here you understand what is important and what is urgent in the way you arrange them. And another that was outstanding for me, it is the synergize. I learned that in teamwork, everything is possible and we get some extra energy when working with others that comes from nowhere maybe, but it's always there. In Applied, we did more than confusion because we lived here without knowing anything happened here and then by help of facilitators, we learn slowly by slowly and we became what you want, where they show us how can you generate your entrepreneurship through to change challenges into opportunity. That is the first great things here in Ijango. We started design thinking, where design thinking, it is a tool we use to identify the problems, to understand the real pain of the Kalayat customers or different people. And through that things, when we, we are done to identify the problem, to understand the real pain, we start to deal with the solution. That solution, we take the solution as the product. Those product, we sell it and we gain money. There are many things that I was not able to do before, but now I'm able to, for example, uh, before I was this person who was overreacting. Like whatever happens, I would not take any time. 
I would always react. But with the seven habits where we learned about the stimulus and the response, I had that. If you take your time, anything, anything that happens, if you take your time to think about, always you will, you, you, you will have to think twice and you will get that, you will get to decide the real decision. I'm going to go down there to interpret what I have run here in order to gain the opportunity, knowledge and skills to know how we can do from our own stability because we discover, we discover what we can do. So I'm going to assist and to help with other many youth from my country to use the less resources, the availability material to give them the high value product. To replicate this SINA system, it is very important in any, in all places in this world because this concept, this empowerment concept have, has its unique way. That's a unique way that helps people, first of all, to develop themselves personally. This, is the, this will be the best to replicate because youths, especially in my country, we are facing the problem of unemployment. The unemployment problem is at a high rate. Uh, so when we take this replication there, first we are going to make them feel that they are able to. Yes, they are, we are going to, to break their limiting beliefs through sessions. Second, we are going to, to, help, to help them develop uh, professionally.